Now y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the miss, honey. What's up, what's up, what's up? This be your boy, Scouted by Nature TV, and we're here for another episode of Yes for the Mess, and we're here to talk about Wendy Williams and Foxy Brown, okay? Now, apparently, Foxy Brown has a book that's coming out in December. She'll be talking about her life, her career, and everything about her life and her career, and as much shit as she was in when she was hot, I know this book is going to be hot just like those, just like that tea was back in the 90s. Because, you know, Foxy got into a lot of shit back in the day. Nobody liked her ass in the industry. And that was just done on that. Now, Wendy Williams had a couple of things to say about Foxy Brown and Jay-Z and Beyonce, okay? Now, I got an article here from the jazzandbrand.com that supports what I'm talking about. Going to read the article, give you my thoughts, and then you leave your thoughts below, okay? So, let's get into the article. Will Wendy Williams soon be able to add Foxy Brown and Jay-Z? Jay-Z to her long list of celebrity feuds. On early Wednesday, Wendy Williams spoke on Foxy Brown's upcoming memoir during her talk show, The Wendy Williams Show. Foxy Brown just announced the book and is written by, by Kim Ozario. I think that's how you pronounce it. Tell me if I'm wrong down below. Wendy Williams stated, Now Foxy Brown has a memoir coming out in December. You might not care. But the book is calling up the most controversial moments of her history and life and hip-hop and so on and so forth. Kim Osario, please don't be weak with this writing. Please, if you're going to tell it, tell it good. Foxy is very open about her life, but I remember when Foxy and Jay-Z had Al B and Foxy was the star of that. However, Wendy Williams wasn't just going to speak on the memoir and give Foxy Brown her flowers for Al B. The talk show host then claimed Jay-Z and Foxy Brown allegedly a were allegedly a romantical thing. All right, I'll say alleged, but we know, we know. Yeah, she hit it before Beyonce, allegedly. Mm. At this point of the episode, Wendy Williams then proceeded to make fun of Foxy Brown's hearing loss, claiming that she hopes that the rapper figures out how to produce an audio version of the memoir. Wendy Williams said, this is not necessarily a book that I this is not necessarily a book that I will read, but this is a book that I would definitely hear on tape. The thing is that Foxy can't do her book on tape due to her hearing issues, but get somebody to put this book on tape. Now what do you think about Wendy Williams' comments about Foxy Brown and Jay-Z? Comment down below and let us know. Okay, now I got two points. Okay, and I'm gonna start on the first one. The first point is whether or not Foxy Brown and Jay-Z ever smashed uglies before. I think we already know that they had sex already. I think we already know that. Because if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to say allegedly. I don't remember what record this was on. But I know she did a verse on someone's song. And I think she said something along the lines. And forgive me, but I'm paraphrasing. Uh, they said that, that the nigga I was sexing. They said that it was AZ when it was really Jay-Z. Or something she said. And, I'm, and that was years ago. I remember reading about that in the Source magazine back when I was in middle school. Now, let me tell you something about my middle school days, okay? Now, middle school from like, what, 99 to like 2003, that was middle school years for me. And I stayed reading Vibe magazine. I stayed reading the Source, okay? And I really remember reading about that. In Source Magazine. And not only did I read Vibe and Source. I also read Sister to Sister Magazine. Those were my three favorite magazines. Sister to Sister at the top. So I could have sworn Foxy said that on a record. And I could have sworn we already knew that back in the gap. Jay-Z and Foxy messed around. That ain't nothing new here. And of course Foxy was the star of Al B. It was her damn record. <laughs> It wasn't a Jay-Z record. It was her song. Unless she was trying to talk about her rap on Ain't No Nigga. Because I listen to Ain't No Nigga for Foxy. I don't listen for Jay-Z. I listen for Foxy. Okay. However, yeah. I don't know what she thought she was spilling. But everybody should know by now that Jay-Z and Foxy had something going on back in the day. Who didn't know that? Allegedly. Who didn't know that? I don't think there's anything new. You know, I, I just don't. I don't think. I'm, I don't, mm -mm. But then she want to say. That this is not the type of book that she'll read. I think that's bullshit. I think that this book would be damn good. Why? 
Foxy, like I said, got into a whole lot of shit back in the day. She got into so many beefs with people. And this will let you know how much I know hip-hop music, okay? She was beefing with Queen Pen. She was beefing with Eve. She was beefing with Kim. She was beefing with Remy Ma. She was beefing with Jackie O. Even Queen Latifah. Even Queen Latifah. Even Queen Latifah. Who gets into a beef with Queen Latifah, bitch? Who fights with Queen Latifah of all people? Who fights with her? Khadijah? Who fights with Khadijah? Who fights with Khadijah? I'm just saying. Who fights with Khadijah? Y'all think I'm bullshit, but it's a whole diss track, okay? Well, Foxy came for her and Queen Pen, and Queen Latifah came back and drug the fuck out of Foxy on wax. Go YouTube it. I forget the name. I think it's called Name Calling, I believe. Y'all better go look for that shit because Queen Latifah read the fuck out of Foxy. Foxy never came back from that, okay? I ain't never... You, that's how you diss a bitch without cursing. Like... She got a, it's like she got her ass beat by her auntie and her auntie sent her by away for being an asshole. Like, that's what it came across. Now, the, now, point number two. I don't appreciate Wendy Williams coming for Foxy's hearing problem. I think that's that, I think that that was way, you know, below the line, you know, very fucked up. Why make up, why make fun of someone for their hearing loss? That's not something that one can control. I think that that was fucked up. I do think that was fucked up. I cannot believe that she would even go there. I can't believe she would even go there. Real talk. I just feel like that was fucked up. Like straight up. And this is why people stay dragging you. You always go to a place that you don't need to go. You had no right to be talking about that girl's hearing loss. Why even go there? Why even talk about that? Why even do that? Like, that was just fucked up. And you had no right to do that. Like, why? Why? Why do that? That was just messed up. For real. That was messed up. You should have did that. That was messed up. Like, we didn't know that she can go, like, to a whole nother level. Like, girl, really? Like, this is what you do? This is what you gonna do? Like, for real, though? This is what you do. You, now, it's one thing you don't want to read the book. It's one thing that you did stuff for everything else. And then you put a personal business out. But then you want to sit up here and make fun of her hearing loss. Like, Wendy, like, it's a lot that we can make fun of you about. And we have made fun of you about it. But still, though, that was fucked up. And while we're here talking about Foxy Brown, can we have a versus with Kim and Foxy? Once again, can we have a versus with Little Kim and Foxy Brown? I want a versus with Little Kim and Foxy Brown. That is my era. That's when I was growing up. I loved me some Little Kim. And I used to love me some Foxy Brown, bitch. Okay? Can we please have a Little Kim and Foxy versus? Okay? Do you know how many records they could play? They don't even have to play the singles. They don't even have to just play their singles and just play their features. They can play their deep cuts. Okay? Lil' Kim can play Queen, bitch, and set that bitch off. Foxy could play My Life from the China Doll album and set that bitch off, okay? Like, I want to see them go at it. That would be something that will break the fucking internet. I want to see it and I know everybody else want to see it, period, okay? But with that being said, child, this was my episode of Yes for the Mess. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Do whatever you see fit and tell a friend to subscribe, honey. Tell them to subscribe, okay? Tell them to subscribe. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, be sure to follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram. Both will be in the description box down below, okay? With that being said, you guys, I'm out of here until my next video. I'll holla at you later. Peace out.